after this brief look at my chocolate souffle, <laughs> I think what we have to talk about is more important than your chocolate souffle. I'm sorry, but this is a very critical time. Well, I'm sorry. This is a very critical time for me, too. <laughs> oh, my poor baby. <laughs> For violence. Uh, but why in the West sitting and talking is one thing, but why you should deliberately destroy an innocent souffle that never did you any harm. <laughs> one moment of harm, that's beyond me. I think you've gone too far. You're bananas, you know that? <laughs> I'm going to try to forgive you for the souffle. <laughs> I realize how difficult it must be for you losing a wonderful man like Lars. Did you know that Lars has a neurotic fear of swallowing hair? <laughs> Did you know that Lars gets car sick if he drives over 30 miles an hour? <laughs> it's true. We missed the first act of Man of La Mancha, West Side Story, and The Sound of Music. Oh, not The Sound of Music. <laughs> that is Lars, and that is the man you want. I'm sorry, but nothing you've said could ever make me change my mind about Lars. We're ready for rehearsal, Sue Ann. Excuse me. I have a show to do. <laughs> Phyllis. Mary. She won't let him go. Mary, please, talk to her. Oh, lovely, Billy. I see you found the third camera. Okay, hold it. Uh, Sue Ann, listen to me, because I've got to be in the screening room in 45 seconds. Ted already knows about this thing with you and Lars. You know what a big mouth Ted has. And what Ted doesn't tell, I will tell. And pretty soon, it's going to be all over the station. And they're not going to think that that's a terrific image for the happy homemaker. So you see, it comes down to a choice. Either Lars or your show. I've got to go. I will see you later. <laughs> well, since you put it that way, Mary, I, <laughs> I don't seem to have any choice. I'm not doing it for myself, you understand. But for those ladies out there who need me. By the way, Sue Ann, do you know how to remove chocolate stains? Yes, I do. Oh, good. 